Hi, welcome to my channel White Raven's Cauldron. This evening I'm doing a tarot card spread for Scorpio. So that's Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or you've got a Scorpio in your chart. I'm not going to ask you to like, share, subscribe. And you know, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. If you don't, you don't. But I'm sure curiosity will get the better of you and you'll come back again. So this is a challenge spread for Scorpio, September 14th onwards. Now, I never put my face on the camera, but as Mars has gone into retrograde and I am an Aries Sun Moon Rising, I thought, fuck it, let's spice things up a bit and put my face in the videos. So there you go. May not happen very often, but when it does, you know I'm in business. So this is a challenge spread for Scorpio. September 14th please what is coming towards Scorpio now I did try to do your reading last night but Mars retrograde decided your camera's gonna fuck up and your readings aren't gonna go as planned and yeah they did yeah they did but tonight I've got, I've got nothing to lose I'm here you're here spirits here so let's see what they've got to say what is coming towards Scorpio, please? What is the challenge? What is the challenge for Scorpio, please? Sorry, I have to keep checking the camera just to make sure it's not gone off. <laughs> I'm hoping it bleeps at me if it does. Ugh. I'm hoping it gives me a bleep. What is the challenge for Scorpio, please? <clears throat> Now remember this may or may not resonate, please take what does and leave the rest, it's not for you. Challenge for Scorpio please. <clears throat> Patiently waiting for my jumpers, come on guys, come on. There we go. Oh, King of Cups reverse, Scorpio. So that's your energy. Um, or this could be someone around you. Very possessive, very controlling, all about themselves, selfish, very selfish. Is This is almost like a smothering type of energy you feel smothered by something it's almost like a an overload of emotions like somebody is not checking in with their emotions they're letting them go way way out of control could be a fellow oh my goodness me dragonfly get away from my reading dragonflies are out and i'm not having a buzz in my ear interrupting my reading go away so could be a fellow Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is showing me somebody's out of control. Out of control. They could have a little bit of a drinking problem. Somebody likes to turn to the drink when times are tough. But it's almost like you can't breathe when you're around this energy. You can't breathe. It's too much. It's in your face. Message, message, message. Phone calls, phone calls. Wanting to know where you are, what you're doing, who you're with. But yet, they're allowed to go, do, see, as they please. They're allowed to do as they like. But you're not. Hmm. Yeah, I smoke. Come at me in the comment section for smoking. If I'm going to die of something, I'm dying on my own terms. I just saw spirit in the background. Hmm. Okay, so your challenge is this water sign. Okay, what's the strength, please? Oh. Okay. So the strength is the Five of Wands. Ready to fight. Ready to fight at a moment's notice. Someone is ready to fight. And they're not going to give in. They're not going to stop. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they're going to fight. There's been drama petty drama, arguments, you could be arguing with more than one person as well, arguing with this person, 
you know, this could be somebody who's got multiple personalities and every single one of them's a dickhead. Every single one of them you want to smack in the face. You never know what to get them for Christmas. Hmm. But the strength is you always come out on top because you're a very deep person. You know the right questions to ask and you know when to ask them. So your strength is not to give up. Don't give up this fight. Don't fight for nothing. Don't let it be wasted energy. Hmm. What's the weakness, please, when facing this challenge? The four of coins. Holding on to too much resentment. Holding on to things that are unnecessary. You're, you're holding on to things that are no longer necessary in this connection. Fear. Fear of letting go. There's a fear of letting go. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But there's a major fear that you're not letting go of. You're not releasing it. You're hanging on to it for dear life. Now this could be you or the person you're dealing with. But they're hanging on. On the flip side of this, this is being on top of your bills. You're paying. Money's coming back in. It's just asking you to not be too cautious with money. I mean, it's good to have a good head on your shoulders when it comes, you know, in regards to finances. But sometimes you can be stingy. So again, you could be dealing with someone who's stingy with finances. They're not paying up. They're not paying their dues. What's advice, please, for this situation, for Scorpio? Advice. Greed. There's a lot of greed. So, Page of Cups reversed. Immature. Immature, somebody's very, very immature with their emotions. Somebody's emotions are not balanced. Somebody's really unbalanced. There could actually be some hormonal imbalance as well. This is also news, a deliverance of love to somebody that somebody doesn't want to hear. It's not the right time or they're not using the right words. It's insincere, fake. It's fake. Okay, let's get some clarifiers for this reading for Scorpio. Clarification for Scorpio. Seven minutes in. We're doing well. I'm not going to jinx it, but we're doing well. Everything's on my side right now in regards to technology. Okay, let's clarify this King of Cups reverse for Scorpio. King of Cups reverse for Scorpio. What did I say about the drinking? <clears throat> and a cup's reversed. Somebody. Somebody likes that lady at the bottom of the bottle. Somebody seems to think that widget at the bottom of the bottle is the answer, and it's not. Very, very heavily into drink. Drink may have got them into trouble in the past, caused problems in the past. Very greedy, very selfish, overindulgent, overindulgent. Again, it could be another Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What's the Five of Wands for Scorpio? Five of Wands for Scorpio. Seven of Wands. You're very vulnerable. Somebody's very, very vulnerable. This could be you or the person you're dealing with, but somebody's extremely vulnerable, open to attack. Again, this is, you know, this could be more than one situation that you're dealing with right now. More than one person or organisation or... Um, you know how that fits. Very vulnerable to attack. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. What's the four of coins for Scorpio? Ugh, on the floor. <clears throat> wow. Emperor reversed. Aries. 
out of control, there's no balance. <sighs> Pushing themselves, forcing their will. Somebody's forcing their will on somebody. Very pushy, very narcissistic, very nasty, very cutting with their words. Somebody is extremely cutting with their words. <sighs> What's this page of cups reversed? Very bossy. Very, very bossy. Arrogant. Oh, there's a lot of arrogance. Ugh. The Magician reversed. The Alchemist. Ugh, Sound of Aries again. Ugh. Somebody may be using magic against you. Casting the evil eye. Using black magic. Um, manifesting ill will in your life. They don't care. Very, very malicious. Very vindictive. Won't stop until they get the outcome that they think is necessary. Very dark, very, very dark energy. Let's get some Lenormand cards for this reading. We have some Lenormand cards for this reading. Oh, wow. So somebody who you thought was very, very loyal, it's gonna turn out that they're not unfortunately somebody seemed as loyal as a dog and for whatever reason they're not somebody's <clears throat> extremely lonely as well extremely lonely but somebody is being sneaky deceptive and there's going to be an ending an ending of some sort let me just read my my special book this is a, a, a twist. There's a twist to something. Change, travel. Change and travels on the cards. But there's a loyalty, what's about to end. There is a very dishonest friend. Dishonest person. Could be a dishonest government figure as well. Somebody's very dishonest in the government. Hmm. Tyranny. But... We just get told to shut up because we're the little people. We don't have a voice, right? Yeah. We all know what they're doing at the top. Trouble is they can't keep tabs on everything we're doing down here. Okay, can I have uh, an oracle from the Wisdom of the Night, please, for Scorpio? So, so we're going to read Deceit first. In the House of Night, there is one who has betrayed herself and all those who look up to her. I am also warning you that someone may be stabbing you in the back. Regardless of the circumstances of your question, I warn you about deceit. There will be a price to pay for betrayal in all forms. Once you know how much it will cost, that said... Although the energy of betrayal can be seductive, I am stronger. Take this as a forewarning. The second one we have was understanding. It is one thing to read something or to hear something, but it is another thing to truly understand something. You are being asked to keep an open mind and heart and to allow yourself to absorb information as you receive it. Be open to the wisdom that can come only with time, patience and perspective. Try to get outside of yourself and imagine what it is like to walk in someone else's shoes. To understand is to have power. So that was your reading, Scorpio. Please let me know in the comment section if it resonated. Um, again, please like, share, subscribe. Keep your kitchen witch happy by giving my video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all again soon.